well, John and Jerry have decided to go exploring again. This time, we're going to look at extruders. We decided to make it easy to dismantle for cleaning. Flip the piston over, lift the clamp lever, and the clamp ring lifts off. Cylinder lifts off, and the bottom plate is free. We also want it to be easy to assemble. So bottom board rests on the base. Cylinder drops into the baseboard slot. Clamp ring pushes down on cylinder, push it back against the stop, and the clamp lever holds it all down. Then drop the die into place. We usually use a light spray of cooking oil inside the cylinder and onto the die. Then load the well wedged clay, add the piston protector and flip the piston into position. To extrude, set the jack into the operating mode and pump. Don't put the long lever in until the piston gets down to the clay. I'm on the clay now, so I add the long handle for really easy extruding. And extrude. It's easy to dismantle and clean after you've finished your session. Take the handle out, lift the jack lever up and set the jack to open. The spring withdraws the piston, then flip the piston, unclamp and lift off the cylinder assembly. Separate the clamp ring and the bottom board. Turn the cylinder over. And remove the die using a wooden stick. Thanks to the powder coating finish and the cooking spray, the die cleans off with a quick wipe, finishing off with a sponge. Remove the piston protector and the clay pushes out of the cylinder, leaving it ready for a quick wipe with a sponge. The machine comes with a bottom plate to suit standard 100mm dies which fit into the recess and with a larger bottom plate to suit standard 150mm dies. For those of you who like to make their own small dies for handles and so on, it also comes with a credit card holder that fits in the standard bottom plate. It has a machined location 
to ensure that the credit card die is centered.